Ahoy friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain Racing Dory. We're building from the lines in John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. So we've got the, uh, just got the, um, the shear planks scarfed. One of them is glued, and, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get out into the shop and, uh, get that up off the floor and get the, uh, next plank glued up. So oh, this uh, plank just fits inside the uh, shop. I want me to close the door. So that's kind of handy. Got about three inches to uh, have room to close the door, but that's how uh, we'll do it. So. <clears throat> Who's in the jig? 
it's the uh, <laughs> wax paper. Okay, so we're uh, good to glue. Excellent. Hex Eliente. It was, uh, yeah, temperatures were down to almost 30 last night. Thankfully it stayed warm enough in the barn here where the glue didn't freeze or anything like that, but certainly did cool off out here for sure. No doubt in that. So let's see how this does. I'll get the uh, glue going and we'll do another glue up. around the boat shop. Like I said, it was down uh, close to 30 this, even this past evening. So we got some uh, definite cool temperatures creeping on in. And it's great to get these uh, glue ups done before it gets just too cold to do it. I'm not going to want to have our glue freezing on us or anything like that. So, I'm gonna try and get this stuff done in a seasonal manner. a lot of uh, nailing and whatnot that comes next in the process and uh, quite a bit of riveting as well but uh, no scarf joints you know they'll be uh, well sure we'll be able to make use of uh, some glues like maybe we'll glue on um, maybe we'll put some glue on the rails and whatnot when we put them in but there's no no more scarf jointing So that's the big one with the with gluing is these scarf joints have got to be good. And I mean they get riveted as well, but we just gotta take care to beware of frozen glues. something like this and uh, what we'll do is uh, check along the length of this plank just to make sure it's aligned properly before we drive any nails. Mm. 
I don't know if you could uh, make out that beeping in the background. It sounds like some heavy equipment backing up almost, which is exactly what it is. There's a uh, farmer's field across the street from us that some little mansions are going in there. There's quite a bit of activity across the road. We noticed the uh, all the construction equipment going back and forth and everything. Alright. So that looks like that swoop is pretty good. For the um, for the hull shape, and uh, yeah, it looks like you got a pretty good joint going there. So yeah, let's put some nails in now. Time for a little boat shop snack here. We've earned it now that we've scarfed the last plank. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see how those uh, glue up and bend on the boat. And as soon as we've done that, we'll be able to batten, fair the edges and uh, cut the final shape of those garboard planks. Like I was mentioning before, there's a bit of a kick to the plank at the transom. So that's why we're gluing these, uh, these scarfs are going together with the boards at a slight angle rather than uh, lining up the straight edge on the plank. But once we've got that, uh, once we've got that edge spiled on the boat, then we'll be able to cut it, plane them down to final thickness, and then nail them on.
All right, well, while we're happen to be out here celebrating the uh, final plank scarfing, it'd probably make a lot of sense to, uh, to get along with another milestone, which would be the um, taking the the uh, stem bracing off because we're going to need to do that in order to put this next plank on this last plank on I should say um, plumb bobs still hung up there from when we uh, plumbed up the stem when we were setting up the uh, frames so we can take that down at this point Stem's not going anywhere, even if we wanted it to. So we're stuck with whatever angle it's at, which is, uh, looks pretty plumb to me, so that's good. So this is the, uh, diagonal brace that braced the stem side to side. Coming off now. goes up here in the uh, stays right on the wall and then uh, here's the the beefy braces that held the stem fore and aft inside to side. up out of the way until I can swing them back when the boat's not here. But I can't swing these back along the uh, center line until uh, until the boat's out of the shot. So I'll just tie these up here and uh, probably only hit my head on them a couple times before I remember they're up there. So yeah, that looks good. That's a good sign. Um, See if I can put some nails in the string too. Probably only need one nail actually. Right about there. Just a little uh, piece of light line should tie these up and mostly out of the way. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely not my noggin on those. But that's as hot far as they're going to go. And uh, yeah, as soon as I get those up out of the way, we'll be able to take a look at the uh, at the hull stem to stern and see how it's uh, see how it's working out.
All right, well, there she is the uh, with the bracing off the stem. Still another plank to go on. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. And you can see we're right up to uh, right up to where the um, final plank is uh, likely gonna go, which is uh, yeah, pretty much just about perfect. So yeah, getting there. And, uh, you know, it just really opens up the shop quite a bit, just not having those two boards down in there. Uh, and a little bit more headroom and whatnot. So, yeah, it looks like a uh, productive morning out in the shop. And we'll uh, yeah, catch you next time. And just a, a quick update on this side project we'll, I'll have going on in the next uh, week or so is a uh, hopefully a re-rig and possibly new sails for the uh, this uh, America sailing model. Hoping to uh, get her back on the water one of these days. So. Yeah, that will be the latest uh, little side hustle. That uh, you know, a little distraction from the uh, the important stuff. But anyway, we'll see how this uh, progresses. I've been talking with uh, John, our sailmaker, uh, about possibilities of getting some light uh, cloth, maybe some even Egyptian cotton, we'll say, to do the, uh, to do a set of sails for this little craft. Thanks so much for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. And a massive thank you to each and every one of the viewers for your uh, likes, subscribes, and uh, comments. Uh, you guys are the ones who make this channel possible and, uh, you know, keep it interesting as well. So thanks again, and we'll see you next episode. Have a great day.